Okay, uh, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Uh, this is basically a ball's law apparatus, and the purpose of this equipment and the apparatus is that to verify the ball's law. So, first of all, it is necessary to uh, we should learn about the basic components that this equipment is having. Uh, you can see that uh, the first equipment at the top of this uh, is known as pressure gauge which basically measures the pressure uh, this is known as test chamber uh, this is evacuation valve okay uh, this chamber is having the fluid uh, where we will place the fluid which will be used in the experiment these are basically different type of valves uh, and we have we have to change the positions of the valve uh, and based on the on the position uh, we can fill up the test chamber uh, and we can evacuate it so it depends on its usage uh, you will come to know about that uh, again uh, this is pump uh, whose sole purpose will be to take the fluid from this chamber to the test chamber and again we can on and off the pump through the pump switch which is in front of you through this knob which is basically known as pump speed and which can uh, which basically controls the speed of the pump i mean the flow rate so you can increase and decrease the flow rate or the mass flow rate of the fluid through this knob by moving it uh, according to your uh, situation okay okay so what uh, we will do initially initially uh, the test chamber should be empty as it seems okay so the test chamber will be empty as it seems uh, initially if there is any sort of fluid in this chamber so we have to remove that now how to remove remove the fluid so for that the position of the valve should be in this manner as it seems so what we will do we will switch on the pump and it will suck all of the fluid which is in the test chamber as there is no fluid in this case you may see it is going to suck the air bubbles so this means that there is no need to uh, operate or to, to uh, this this means that we have to change the position of the valve now we have we will change the position of the valve as it is changed now next what we will do we will on the pump and after uh, switching on the pump the fluid from this chamber will be pushed to the test chamber now let's see how it flows now you can see the chamber it is going to fill up And as the uh, fluid comes into the test chamber, although there is some air in this chamber, so that air will be compressed, and that compressed air pressure will be measured by the pressure gauge. And you can see the dial gauge or the pressure gauge where the needle shows you the pressure as the amount of fluid increases, the air is compressed, and the needle moves. Now what we will do, we will simply take the reading uh, from the we will simply take the reading from the pressure gauge. Uh, we'll write it down in one column 
and then we will have to measure the uh, volume of the air which is in the test chamber and you may see that the volume of air decreases with the passage of time which again validates the Boyle's law as the pressure increases so volume decreases as uh, pressure and volume have got uh, an inverse relation again uh, is it also says that the temperature should remain constant so although ideally it is not as perfect as it should be because of the environmental constraints uh, but still the temperature is almost constant there isn't any difference uh, again it depends on the environmental factors so somewhat how this temperature is is constant so what we will do we will uh, plot a graph between the pressure and volume of the air which is compressed in the test chamber and as a result there should be a parabolic curve